Welcome back to Right Time Gaming. Again, we are going into a deep dive into My Hero Academia. Uh, and this uh, video, we're going to look at the Clash decks. That's right, the uh, Overhaul and uh, the Mero Togata um, Undaunted Raid Clash decks. These are the starter decks from the new Undaunted Raid set, um, which is a great place uh, to start um, with if you are looking to get into the game, especially with the regional exam coming up on the 22nd of July. That's less, uh, it's about 10 days away uh, from uh, time of putting this video out. And uh, this is a perfect jump off point uh, to get yourself started. If you want to learn the game, we do have a great learn to play um, event happening at West City uh, Card Merchant this Saturday, the 15th from 1 p.m. to uh, 4 p.m. where I, uh, myself and a few others are going to be teaching the game. You come along, you'll get a demo deck you'll get two free boosters from the new undaunted raid set um, which is a perfect uh, jump off point that you can uh, go in and then buy one of these starters and do a little bit of uh, tweaking and you'll be good to go for the original exam uh, on the 22nd if you want to get in on that and again go watch my other video it just shows you uh, how you can get Roughly about $200 worth of stuff for just playing at the original event. Um, it's going to be a good time. But anyway, I was lucky enough to sit down with an old friend of mine, Regan, and run him through uh, the Clash decks um, uh, on last Saturday night. And this is the video. So let's go down and see how these Clash decks play against each other. All right. Hello and welcome. This is... Uh Right Time Gaming, we are here with Regan and we are doing a bit of a playthrough with the My Hero Academia Undaunted Raid Clash decks. I am going to be running Overhaul, um, um, running Video, Tokata. Tokata. Um, so good versus evil. Um, and uh, it is, uh, this is like. Uh, we've, we've both played, uh, um, UFS back in the day, but we haven't played a lot of My Hero Academia, so we really just wanted to jump on and sort of show how the game plays for relatively new players. Oh, sorry. That slide. Um, yeah, so that is what we're going to do. So, uh, th this is what comes in the packs. You get the paper playmat, you get the, um, the deck, um... <coughs> And from the one practice game we had, they're pretty, they're pretty competitive decks. They're mm -hmm. pretty well balanced, and hopefully we can uh, show you that in the video. Uh, so we rolled the dice before we started recording, and I uh, won, so I'm going to go first. So my hero starts committed. One, two, three, four, five, six. I draw up to my hand size of six. Now I can decide to mulligan. As player one, I have to either... Fully mulligan uh, everything, uh, or keep my hand, and I will keep my hand. Uh, Regan, however, he does get the advantage of going second, so he can do a partial mulligan if he wants, where he can choose which cards he puts on the bottom of his deck, and then uh, he can uh, draw up to his hand size again, and then shuffles his deck. Yeah, so I'm going to take two. Put them on the bottom, draw up to, now he gets to shuffle the deck. Which is really nice, so it means you never draw into the cards that you've mulliganed, uh, and you get to shuffle your deck so they're not just stuck at the bottom of your deck. <clears throat> Alright, turn one, uh, we can't we can't attack turn one, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna build here. I'm gonna start by building uh, chicken to two. Um, then chicken to three, then Chicken a four, and we're going to push our luck, and we're mm -hmm. going to try and check a five. We miss. So once we miss the check, uh, that fails, ends my turn. These come down to my staging area, and we pass over to Regan. Now, nice. going second, he does get to draw an extra card, but he also gets a review, which he should have done before he drew, drew his card. It's fine. That's what the mulligan was for. <laughs> All right, so unbelievable skill. Yes, go for three. And um, let's, let's try a uh, nice try for three. Nice try. Uh, some combat decisions. 
Plus of the three. And uh, permeation. Sorry. Sorry. Or four. Uh, and I think I'm going to call it there. All right. So I get those into my staging zone. Yeah. Uh, so am I ready? Um, <coughs> I'm going to choose not to review a card, and I'll draw up to my six. Um, we are going to, we're going to start out big here. We're going to try for a six with this uh, monstrous, monstrous fusion. There's a three, four, five, six. That's a little rough, but um, it's all right. Um, Regan has a chance to respond, but I don't think he can respond to anything before the enhanced step. No. So we will go into the enhance step. I am playing Overhaul. Overhaul has an ability that says first enhance, so you need to do this first. It's once per turn. I can build a card from my hand face down into. So building is putting a card into your um, into your um, stage area. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to build that face down and pass. Enhance to uh, <coughs> Regan. Okay. Um, I will uh, use a nice try. I'll commit to make this attack minus two speed. Minus two speed. So it's going to be a three mid. Mm -hmm. I'm going to then enhance, use the second enhance on overhaul. Uh, once per turn, you may play a face down card from your staging area as your next card, ignoring progressive difficulty. Um, so I am going to choose to do that so it means I will be able to play this as my next card hearts over to Regan uh, I think I'm passing um, I am going to choose to remove the top three cards from my discard pile uh, this attack gets plus three speed oh, brutal. so one two three removing those from game and so this is going to go up to uh, six speed. Your enhance. Hmm. Yeah, I got nothing. All right, I'm sending it. So it is coming six speed mid for six. Six damage, yikes. Okay, so playing unbelievable skill to try and block it. So You're I'm... unbelievable. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, looking for eight. How many cards you got in hand? I have one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And remembering that I can play yeah. this from here. Boo words. All right. Oh, this is good. Five. Uh, so I can uh, commit some more. Let's do... Yeah, just these three. Okay. All right. So that is blocked. Fully blocked. Mm -hmm. No damage through. Indeed. Um, I get to play this without progressive difficulty. So only needing a four. Check a five. Um, enhance step. Um, I'm going to stun. No, I'm not going to stun one because you've already fully tapped out. Um, uh, if you have gained health this turn, which I haven't, uh, response. After this card is played from anywhere other than your hand, draw a card. I will do that. Um, and I will pass my enhance step. Um, yep, yeah, I will also pass. Alright, so this is just coming at you three high for four. Okay, so I'll play Schoolyard Smackdown looking for a six to block this. Oh, five, six, blocked. Alrighty. We're gonna, gonna push it and we're gonna try for a six here. Three, it fails. So that was fully blocked, that was fully blocked, no momentum. Mm -hmm. Ends my turn. Over to you. All right, nice. That was effective. Super effective. Two, three, four, oops. Five. Okay. So again, for anyone who doesn't know, the My Hero Academia is uh, part of the uni universe's uh, gaming engine there. 
one of the cool things about it is that there's multiple IPs in there, in there. So there's like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. So you can you can take these heroes and villains and fight them against um, heroes and villains from other IPs. Um, at the moment, though, we're just playing with the My Hero Academia um, Undaunted Raid set. So, and uh, one of the things that I was telling Regan that I really like about the My Hero Academia um, uh, set of cards is that the sets have been a running chronological order to the um, anime. So, so like the heroes that were in set one were the heroes and villains of season one, whereas Undaunted Raid here, it's set five, and this is the the starting arc of season three in the in the anime. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna play uh, Schoolyard Smackdown. Ooh, this is a biggie. Uh, okay, so checking on a five. There's a six, that'll do. Alright, so uh, let's see. Enhance, I can discard an attack from a card pool. I don't have any. So, okay, so I'm just going to go straight to. Well, have you got any responses to me playing now? No responses, so straight to enhance step. Okay, so I'm going to use the enhance on Midio's character card to uh, get plus two damage and change its attack zone. So it's currently a three low, so I'm going to change it into a three high. Um, it's the red one. Cool. And that will give uh, plus two damage as well. So that takes it to a six. Sorry, yep, wrong dice. Okay. Now, actually, oh, sorry. Uh, let's just keep it as pluses because it's going to yep. be minuses sure as well. Thing. So, response after the zone of this attack has changed, it gets plus one speed. So, it becomes a four speed high and another plus one damage. Excellent. Mm, and can I do two responses? Uh, yeah, if the responses trigger, you can, yep. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to, oh, sorry, flip after the zone of your attack has changed, your rival commits one foundation. Oh, you don't have any. Yeah. Okay, I won't do that. Um, yeah, okay, so that's my enhance. I've got no enhances, so I pass back. Okay. Um, I think we are ready to swing in. All right, so it is a four speed high for a total of seven. Seven. Um, so I'm going to block that with a one speed high block. So you look at the block modifier, um, plus the speed, that's what you have to check against. So I'm checking for a five, three, can't Ooh, do it. Bad luck. So that was quite, quite a good block too. It was a real good block. I was hoping uh, that it would stick. So Not good enough. no block. So I'm taking seven. seven. <laughs> yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down to 21. Nice. Okay. Next one, let's see. Phantom Punch. Testing on a five. There's a three. Um, let's go with. Um, now, can I? I can use the enhance again, right? Yes. Yeah, so you can. Yeah. You can only use the enhance once per attack, but unless it states otherwise, like once per turn, you can use the enhances uh, every attack. Now, what is? Enhance, destroy, build one slam attack that dealt damage this turn. So what what down. that would be is you would destroy that card. Right. Then you would take this card and build it face down as a resource, which right. then can be used to tap. So it would mean that this wouldn't go to your momentum. Okay. So so. Right. Okay. It, it is. Uh, it does let you ramp a little bit, but you may want to you may want to keep it there because it is currently going to go to your momentum because it has done damage. Okay, that's fine. All right, so at the moment it's a three mid. Um, so I'm going to uh, use the enhance from Medio again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make that a high again. So adding two damage and making it into a high. So that's currently a three high and adding two damage. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have any enhances? I do not have any enhances. Now, what is stun one? Again, doesn't matter because all my things are um, uh, tapped, but what it would be is that I would have to tap a, tap a um, foundation. Oh, sorry, I should also have done this response. Oh, you don't have any. So don't fine. have any. Yeah, <laughs> okay. That's fine. Cool. Um, okay, so then we will... Let's see. Now, I did change this. Sorry. Oh, 
enhance. Okay, now it's the next enhance. So yep. the first enhance was from video. Second enhance is from Phantom Punch. Yep. If the zone of the attack has been changed, he gets plus two speed. So it's now a five speed high for six damage at the moment. Mm -hmm. Do you have any enhances you want to do? I do not. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I think I am done. All right. Um, I'm going to go to the block step. Sure. Uh, I don't have a high attack. I do have a mid attack though, so I'm going to try and half block this. So mm -hmm. I'm going to need a seven. So mm -hmm. basically, I need to check a six. Ooh, bad luck. Nope, doesn't do it. So I am taking six damage. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pow. Pow, right. pow, pow, pow. Yeah. Okay. So next. Right. Let's try a. Something nice. Nice try. Testing on four. There's a five. Um, and do I want to do something else? Um, I think I'm going to hold on to these. So Alrighty. this goes down into my area here. These go to momentum. All right. Two momentum is going to be nice for my defensive ability later. Uh, I am going to review. Start by Tremors of uh, Eruption for four. Mm -hmm. Got it. Uh, going to enhance it. First enhance. You can build um, a card. Um, so I'm going to build that one face down. Pass your enhance. Okay. I will commit and give this minus two speed. So okay, it's currently so speed zero. zero. Yep. Okay. Um, I am going to enhance and say uh, you may play a face down card from your staging area this turn. Mm -hmm. So that's the next card. Okay. Any enhances? Yeah, I'm going to pass. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to enhance if this attack is blocked um, your rival commits a foundation okay. I'll allow it right. <laughs> um, and that is it for me I'm going to send that as a zero zero low for six Okay. so I'll play the big three which is a mid block um, looking for a three. Right. It's be a half block. Yep, that half blocks it. So I take three. All right. I'm going to use the response. I'm going to flip a foundation after a, after the block step. Do two damage uh, and gain a life. And I am going to flip. Um, I'm going to flip this one. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, then I am going to play this attack for zero progressive difficulty from that ability. So just for a four, five. Yes. Um, after you play this card from anywhere other than your your hand, uh, discard a rival's momentum. So discard one of your momentum. Ooh. And then in my enhanced step... Uh, Um, and my enhanced it, I will uh, commit if this attack was played from anywhere other than your hand, it gets plus two damage. Okay. So making it a six. All right, I'll enhance by uh, committing, nice try, and making it minus two speed. Sure thing. So that is now speed two mid. Yep, two mid. Okay. 
Okay, hier haben wir wie. Uh, no, I will, I will fire that off. So two speed for, two speed mid for six. Okay, so blocking with permeation in the middle. So that's going to be plus one progression, so three, plus two, so you're looking for a five. How's that? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, so now we're going to go for six, five, uh, six. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, if you've gained health this turn, which I have, um, oh, it actually gets negative one difficulty, so I don't need to. Mm -hmm. All right, and then respond after this card is played from any. No, it was played from my hand, so that's fine. So, um, first enhance, I will stun one, so you uh, have to commit a foundation. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, permission. <coughs> um, and over uh, you. Yeah. Okay, enhance for combat decisions. Flip if your rival has played three or more attacks this turn, they commit one foundation. Sure thing. Commit the one that's flipped upside down. Mm -hmm. Alright, anything else? Uh, nothing for me. Um, so, anything from you? Uh, yes, I will enhance uh, to commit, discard one momentum, reducing the attack's damage to zero. Sure. Perfect. Done. Done. Alright, so it's three speed high for zero damage. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Cool. So this is this one was the one that did damage, right? So uh, one, one of them's done damage, right? Uh, no, that was fully blocked. No, it was half blocked. Half, no, it was, that was. Oh, that was half blocked. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah. just for no, for too. momentum purposes. That's fine. Yep. Um, and we'll play that for three. Yep. And then we'll push our luck and play that for five. No, nope. luck. So that one goes. This builds. This gets to momentum. Please clear up. Over okay. to you. Okay, so review. I can do review before I draw. You can. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. And after this was played, your rival can play. It doesn't matter. Because you get to. Yeah, can you get to review. That's fine. Okay, all those clear. Um, okay, so. Uh, which one's next? That's fine. Okay, so yes, I will um, get rid of Save a Million and draw up. A million seems a little bit of a high target. So let's go with a. You know why? Why that's that? Uh, why he's got that on his chest? Because that's Cause his target. It's, it's his target because mm -hmm. you can't save everyone, but he wants to save a million. <laughs> that seems reasonable. Reasonable. <laughs> Compare comparably, <laughs> I guess. Why are you mm. using that word? I do not think it means what you think it means. I guess. <laughs> Alright, it's all relative. Uh, all right. Okay, flying scissor kick. Yes. Hard okay. Yeah, just uh, channeling my chun Yeah. Spinning bird kick. Um, okay, so uh, this is... Interesting. Okay, so response doesn't work here. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's got an enhance. If this attack is not completely blocked, unflip a foundation. So I guess I'll trigger that first. It is a three speed low for five damage. Sure. How many cards you got in hand? The one. Wicked. <laughs> this is a good turn. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe something good. <laughs> Maybe something bad. We'll <laughs> never know. Okay. Because you're gonna cut it. Alright, so let's see. Um so you're not enhancing? No, you okay. remember you get first enhance. Well, I've already enhanced. You're enhanced, yeah, I'm yeah, passing, yeah. so yeah. Okay, great. So <clears throat> I will um, enhance. My punch or sign gets plus two damage and I can change its zone. So that is going to add two damage and we're going to make it a three, uh, three high. All right, that's my enhance there. Now response. Uh, flip after the zone of your attack has changed, your rival commits a foundation. Alright, so it's currently three speed high for seven damage. 
Um, oh, this is a kick and a slam. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. Sending it. So it's a three high for <coughs> five. For seven. For mm. seven. Oof. Yeah. Uh, sure. I'll take seven. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. On to nine. Okay. So then let's play Phantom Charge for four. Got it off. <clears throat> so this is a three speed mid for two damage. If the zone's attack matches the print zone and the direction of card four gets plus one speed and plus one damage. So it doesn't. So can't use that enhance. So I will play uh, this enhance. With punch or slam, it is a slam, so it's fine. I'm going to change this to a um, high, and we're going to do plus two damage there, so it's going to make it four damage. So yeah. three speed high for four damage. Any enhancing from you? No enhancing from me. Um, so I could destroy this to build this, and then when I've built it, does that mean that I can, like, play it at some point or like no, it, is, it, it will just be a face down resource what would the advantage be of doing that it just ramp, it just ramps up your resources um but but it destroys this card to do it though mm, mm. so does it really it seems like it's uh trade. well again and probably in this deck not so much but like in this deck where you can play face down attacks so mm -hmm. okay, so, gotcha. so remember these are just starters they're not necessarily optimal for yeah. the cards in there so cool okay no worries um but also the other thing too is is you could do that for a, an attack that didn't hit so if it wasn't going to momentum mm -hmm. you could do that right. and then basically the reason you do that is mm -hmm. that you're clearing out the progressive difficulty right true okay cool okay yep so i'm sending it three speed high for damage i'll take four okay go to five all right um so now we'll play Le Million of the big three, looking for four. There's a three, and I'll commit that to get it down. That's four. Um, and... Interesting. Um, I'm going to play Humble Hero for five. That's three. Um, That's just these two, because they're ready, right? True. Yeah, good point. Good idea. All right, cool. So that's played, and I'm tapped out. Not doing anything else. So these two go to momentum. Yes. All right. Um, I'm going to discard on my revised turn to. And these two come to here. Okay. So after your rival's combat phase begins, ready this foundation playable while committed. <clears throat> so readying is just. Untapping. Yes, right. That is yeah. correct. That's okay. correct. So, is so now we go into phase? combat phase. Yeah. That's a nice try for turn. Those are really handy, actually. Right. Play. Play. When I play this, you commit the foundation. Okay. Um, I will commit humble hero. Uh, for six. Mm. Four. Stalic might pierce. Five, six. Okay. It's a three low mm -hmm. for five damage. All right, are you going to do any enhancing? enhancing? Uh, yes, yeah, so first enhance, I will build face down. Okay. Uh, my enhance. Uh, I'll. Uh, commit this to give it minus t minus two speed, so it's now speed one low. Mm -hmm. uh, I will uh, 
You may uh, commit, you, uh, sorry, enhance, you may play a face down card from your stage area as your next card, ignoring progressive difficulty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, might as well do it. Uh, I'll, uh, no, because it's only once per turn because I'm committing. Um, yeah, I'm passing. All right, um, this attack has been heard from anywhere. No, this attack. Oh, enhance if this attack is completely blocked by a non attack card, your rival leap loses two health. All right, so sending it? Sending it. Okay, one, so one speed damage. low for five. Okay, uh, I'm going to play the big three to block it, looking for a four. That's three. Um, I need to commit to four. So that is half blocked, partially blocked. Sure. I'll respond by doing two more damage and gaining one life. One, two, three, one, two. Cool. Um, then. And then. Then I will play this hmm. from my, uh, that's my face down card, so no progressive difficulty, so just need to check a one. I think you can manage that. I think I can. And I will hold on to these, okay. and that will be in the turn. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm readying, discarding that, reviewing. I'm going to keep that, and drawing five. All right, let's see if we can put this to bed. Cards in hand? Two. All right. Start with a uh, flying scissor kick for five. Here's the five. Mm -hmm. All right, so it is a three speed low for five damage. Uh, enhance, I'll use this enhance now. If this attack is not completely blocked, unflip one turn action. Mm -hmm. All right, your enhance. Um, I will pass enhance at this point. Okay, I will now enhance with. Uh, the million of the big three to get plus one damage. So it's currently three speed low ones and mm -hmm. six damage. Yours, yes. your I will pass. Um, okay, I will then uh, give this plus two damage and change the zone mm -hmm. to high. Let's see. So that'll be a three high. And I think there's a response here somewhere. Okay, flip after the zone of your attack has changed, your rival commits a foundation. So we'll need to do that. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, and any enhances from you? No enhances from me. Okay, enhance here to get another plus one damage. So it's currently a three speed high for nine damage, and I'm sending it. All right, trying to block for six. six. Five. Decent. Six. Mm -hmm. That is completely blocked. Fully blocked. Nice. Okay. If this is not completely blocked on Flipper Foundation, yeah. that is. So that's annoying. All right, next, let's try Repel Strike for six, five, six, 
Have a nice try. Okay, so it is a five speed mid um, for five damage. Um, let's see. Okay, let's go with an enhance. Commit one foundation. So I'll commit that. Sure thing. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, I won't do that. Sorry. Well, not yet. So, firstly, I'll use this enhance to get plus one speed. So, it is now a six speed mid. Uh -huh. All right, are you enhancing? Uh, I will choose not to enhance at the moment. Okay. So, then I will uh, enhance, commit a foundation to change the zone of this attack. I will change it to high, making it a high six. Now, as a response, after the zone of this attack has changed, your rival commits a foundation. Okay. Uh, any enhances? No enhances. Okay. Yet. Enhance here, giving plus one damage. Uh, yep, so just go one here. Enhance. Uh, no enhance. Okay, over to me. I'll enhance my punch or slam gets plus two damage and I can change the zone. So I will change that to a low speed six. Any enhances? Uh, I will enhance. I'm going to commit. Uh, you may try and block this attack with a card from your stage area. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Not any lows? Yep. Can you do that even though you're committed? Yep. Yep. Nice. Okay. Because cool. this is this is what's doing it, and then I block nice. like that. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, so I will then use this enhance, the last one, to give uh, plus one damage. So it's currently nine damage, six speed low. Yeah. And anything more? Um, any more enhances from you? Not from me. Okay, me neither. I think. No, I'm deadlock. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, 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 three, draw cards off that last turn. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Um, you have got me because I, I've just done the calculations. I can only block an eight. Mm. Yep. That's, that's right. going to be nine speed. Mm. So, you got me. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. So there we have it. Uh, that was, as I said, a, a quick, uh, a quick uh, blast with the um, clash decks. Now these are, are have been made to be played against each other, but they are, of course, not optimal. You you will be wanting to buy some more boosters from um, Dawn to Dread and other sets to uh, to help build them up. But as you can see, there is a lot of uh, cool interactions in both decks and. Uh, with a little bit of practice, uh, there's a, a lot of fun to be had with these. Remember, folks, if you want to uh, join up and play at the Regionals event on the 22nd of July, um, head over to play.mh.